Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Queen C and today I will be showing you how to cartoonize a picture. Now for today's video, I have used Megan the Stallion as my model. If you haven't heard of her, she's a great rapper and I think you should really check out her work. And um, I decided to use Paint Tool Sci for this project. Now this is just a quick disclaimer, I am not a professional, I am not a master of Paint Tool Sci, I just play around, I try different things, I learn different things, and certain things work and certain things don't work. Now for this specific piece, I tried the line work layer for the first time, and I can say that it is one of the easiest ways to do lines. What you do as you draw the line, there are certain points that pop up and you can drag them and fit them to fit the piece better and it's amazing, let me tell you. So basically for this part of the video, I drew a line, I changed the points along it and I just basically jumped around the entire piece until I was satisfied and able to move on to the next part. So as you watch, I hope you guys can see what I'm doing and understand the process, you know, just take your time and jump around, but eventually every now and then you'll want to take a step back at the piece and look at it and see if you missed anything, if you missed, you know, a fingernail, if you missed a, a hat, a toenail, I don't know. But whatever you're doing, just make sure you take a step back and, you know, just check and make sure that all the line work is there because the worst thing ever is feeling like you're done with something and you have to do it again let me tell you so yeah as you can tell i continuously zoom out check it out zoom in draw a line don't like it erase it draw another one <laughs> but yeah um it was it was really fun to do and it yes it took some time for me to do but as you continue to make more pieces, you'll get faster, you'll get more efficient, and it'll be more fun to do. So yeah, enjoy this part. So as we approach the next part of the piece, you know, what I decided to do, after I was done with all of the lines, I wanted to make a separate layer underneath the line art, and I tried using the magic tool. You know, it's spotty. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. And I decided to make a separate layer for his skin, separate layer for hair, separate layer for the hat, and you know, just make different layers so that way you can have different bases to go on so that way if something isn't the way you want it if you want to change a color you could change a color for that specific area without changing the color of the entire piece another thing that i've done since this is a cartoonization and not a digital art portrait i use the eyedropper tool to help me find the exact skin tone for the model that i use again this is not a digital portrait this is a cartoonization so you know you do want to you do want your piece to look like what you're trying to draw mind you there are different ways to make cartoons there are different ways to do a lot of things in art but this is just how i've decided to do it for this piece so after you have made that base layer what you want to do is just you know take your time find colors that fit and if you want you don't have to follow the colors at all that's the beauty about art if you want to make your skin pink or blue or green you can do that that's the beauty about art but for this piece i've decided to keep it pretty close to the picture i did change a few things but they're not really that noticeable so as you can see i also decided to use the bucket tool to help save me some time what i did I outlined the area with the color that I wanted to use and then I used the bucket tool to fill it in. That's another alternative that you can do instead of the magic tool. So as you can see, I've alternated kind of soil of between the bucket tool and the magic tool. It just depended on what worked for me in a certain area and what didn't. 
both are fine neither is fine you know this is just how i did this piece however you find your way to make something work for you trust me do it because the beauty about art is there's more than one way to do anything so i hope you enjoy this part of the video and i hope that you can see what i do and i hope that you can replicate it have a weird jump and I do apologize for that I just forgot to record as this is my first time lapse my first video my first anything in terms of recording myself and posting on YouTube but I will have better videos posted up later again I do apologize but what I have done for this step I have used the multiply layer on top of all the base colors and drew the shadows where I thought they would go and in a moment you'll see the final product for that here you go and I basically filled the background color with a color I thought would go best and I added a highlight and I blended it out. Afterwards, I decided to write her name on the side. I know I spelled it wrong. It's supposed to be Megan the Stallion and I wrote Megan the Stallion. I am so sorry and I will do better next time, but it's still, in my opinion, looks great. Um, give me a thumbs up <laughs> if you agreed as well. But as you can see, this is my final project. Um, Another thing I would suggest is to don't be afraid to move things around and just try different things. As you can see, I tried to move the letterings around, I tried to change the color, but you know, I ended up leaving it exactly where it was. So if you liked this video, please feel free to like and subscribe, comment what you liked, what you didn't like, and yeah, I'll see you next time.